So I'm gonna analyze the monologue for you. For me, the dagger scene is crucial in the play in many ways. Macbeth's imagination, the dagger scene, is a verbal rendition of Duncan's murder. But it is also much more than an image of murder. This is an extension of Lady Macbeth's vision of Duncan's death in Act 1, Scene 5. In this scene, Lady Macbeth refers to the dagger as my sharp knife, suggesting that she will personally handle the instrument used to kill Duncan. So, however, she had no intention of doing it herself. Instead, she manipulates her husband into committing a murder that will prove to be his total undoing. Um, Macbeth struggle with the psychology of murdering the king. If there's a dagger which I see before me, the handle toward my hand, come let me crush thee. So Macbeth's floating dagger gives the audience a clear view of Macbeth's inner torment. It's a revisiting of the argument he had with himself in the previous scene. He continued to talk to himself as pointing out that a dagger has seen was proceeding from the heat oppressed brain, but it led him to the king's chambers, and he followed it, still opposing the plane, and my eyes full that other senses which would otherwise be worthy of all the other. Here he was fully aware of the horror and injustice of the crime he was doing to commit. Then the side changes and the dagger is covered with blood, and just as it was after the murder, however, Macbeth continued his quest to killing the king and follow the dagger, even though he would know it means something about his own character. This dagger-like scene Precede the destruction of all good within Macbeth and the birth of evil. So Macbeth's failure to justify the murder shows how heinous the crime was. He constantly argues with himself and Lady Macbeth, emphasizing Macbeth's inattention and the evil of the crime. The grisly nature of the bloody dagger, further underscored by the betrayal of and the sediments, the probably killing of an otherwise good and heroic man who had defended this king and other traitors. I was president of the king. So once Macbeth committed his murder, his husband will be attacked by the king. The goddess in the king will be eradicated and replaced entirely by the cruelty and the ruthlessness of the Lady Macbeth. Once prey to the power of himself by the one being. When Duncan learns of Macbeth's victory, he lavishes praise of the quality of Raider, honesty and loyalty, but they are replaced off by fear, and distrust, the self loathing and extreme anxiety. Once Macbeth, the loyal servant, becomes the Macbeth who is pious and fear the king. Was a loyal, brave, and humble man. Now he is a man who is nothing, possessed by evil and the deluded of power. His tragedy happened. And that's the end of the uh, dagger speech. And like, like it, please subscribe, like, and comments below.